everything's all shot. We can hear. And it's, this is going to be really dark. I'm up in a bedroom, sitting in my favorite chair with my dogs. Let's, let's see if we can get them. Charcoal. 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 Here it comes. Charcoal. Charcoal. <laughs> oh, wait. I got feather, too. Wait, 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 here. This is going to be really bouncy. Let's see if I can get them both in here. Charcoal, what you doing? What you doing, Charcoal? What you doing? I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> now he wants his nose rubbed. Rub my nose, he says. Rub my nose. I like it. <laughs> okay, now I got them all rounded up. Wild up. Anyway, this is um, Rambling 101. It's going to be a dark one. I'm in my bedroom. My shoulder is bothering me. Oh. He wants me to pet him now. I, I excited him. He wants me to pet him, so now he's trying to crawl up in my lap. It's a rat, it's a rat, it's a rat, it's a rat, you're a Alright. Um, I'm not feeling well. I forgot it was Sunday. I mean, I remember this morning it was Sunday. I remember last night it was Sunday. I remember when I woke my daughter up at midnight it was Sunday. But I don't remember it was Sunday until just a minute ago when I was thinking about going to lay down. And I realized I hadn't done a vlog. But luckily, it's a rambling one-on-one vlog. So I get to talk about whatever I want. I don't really have to think about much. And um, I can just kind of do what I'm going to do. Because he's going to be a pill now. Go lay down. Go lay down. It's The funny thing about my dogs are that they um he knows kind of when he's supposed to go to the P-A-R-K. Cannot say that word or O-U-T. And he kind of knows, so he gets very uh, weird and wants to go out all the time, looking for the car. He wants to look for the C-A-R, because that's what's going to take him to the P-A-R-K. <laughs> yes, my dogs are really smart. You say the word, and that's the end. Same thing for T-R-E-A-T. If I'd say the word, he'd be all excited and go running down. So, it's Rambling 101. It's May... 21st, I think. Tomorrow, I think H1Z1 comes out. I'm a little irritated with uh, video games because they're taking up a lot more time than I have time for. I, mean, I don't do much in my life because I'm, I'm having, like, my, my shoulder has gotten worse. I think part of it is I got sick and I stopped doing some of my exercises. And it's so hard to do the exercises to begin with. So the moment you quit, it's like you lose everything that you started out doing. So I'm hoping that I'll get back to when I... And then I get really, really tired. And then I drink a lot of caffeine. And then I get even more tired because caffeine only works for me for a short period of time. And I don't mean just during the day. Every couple of days, I have... Um, after about two or three days of drinking caffeine, I have to drink caffeine or I get the headaches. But I'm tired all the time again. So it's kind of like a no-win situation here. So I'll be quitting caffeine again. I bought me the little cans. Those are the ones. That's how I quit caffeine. Because I'll get up to drinking 48 ounces of soda. Caffeine. And then I'll have to quit. You know. And then the other problem is I have burning mouth syndrome. Which is so bothersome. So on top of that I crave it. It's one of the few things that's easy in my mouth is soda. I've tried like sparkling water but that don't work. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> that was funny. He's such a funny dog. So, rambling. I had a thought that... So, my rambling videos are where just thoughts that go through my mind. I uh, talk about them. And I had a thought. I'm sorry, I don't have the tripod either. I had a thought. Stop it. I see you wearing the old, the old, very, very old mask. Um, and it's so loose, it's not fitting right. It's me in the darkness here. There is no light. It's like lightless in this house. Um, I was kind of hoping I could get some lights. That would be a plus for my channel. To get lights. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I'm looking at a camera. I'm looking at getting a new camera. To do my vlogs on. Okay, so we're going to sit here like Humpty Dumpty. You won't really see me doing stuff. Barking at my dog. He's looking at me like, I'm so confused. Why is that woman barking at me with a mask on? Um, hmm. So I had a thought. 
about rambling. And so one of the thoughts I had was about how, how words can be so painful to people. Like they, like you can hurt people so badly with words, even though we teach ourselves that song sticks and stones can break your bones, but words will never hurt me. That's the concept you should live by. I mean, you should live by that. You can't be hurt by sticks and stones, but the, you, oh, oh no, you can be hurt by sticks and stones, but you can't be hurt by words. But the reality is, is that many of us are hurt by words. Um, and, and sometimes the words can be not meant to be painful. Like they're not meant to hurt you, but we take them that way because they represent things in our past, like ways people have talked to us in the past. And that's what triggers the anger that you feel. Sometimes like me, I'll get this just in, insatiable like this, like not inceptual, but, um, or inceptual or insatiable, but that burning, burning hatred all of a sudden for a split second where I'm so mad that I'd just like to take that person and chop them in tiny little pieces and, and squish them down into a, a food blender and blend them and feed them to my dogs or pour them out as fertilizer, you know, um, I just, it, it burns through me and it'll be over something really stupid if you thought about it. It'll be like, why did I let that bother me? I don't even like that person. So research shows in social psychology that people, the more you like somebody, the more likelihood, and this is common sense, we all know this, the more likelihood that person's going to hurt you. And it's not because that person knows any more secrets than another one. It's how you feel about the person that dictates how much pain they possibly can give you. Though words themselves, just words. So um, an example is, I'm trying to think of one my dad used to do, um, or my or just used to do. The, the word itself wasn't a bad word, but after a while, it was symbolized as being a bad word because I knew what they kind of meant. So um, I'm trying to think of one um, that's not negative. <laughs> um, plain. Plain's a word. Okay, so an example we put it in there, not like an airplane, but... Um, one time I remember somebody saying to me, you know, it's, it's okay to be plain. I thought, hmm, what's okay? You know, what did they mean by that? What does that word plain mean to them that they used it to me, but it sounded like an insult? And, you know, backhanded insults are that way. And backhanded um, insults are usually the ones that don't sound like an insult until you start thinking about them. Like, you're like... um. You're so, you'd be so beautiful if you just wore makeup. <laughs> well, what am I without the makeup? You know, uh, oh, you're just, you're pretty, you're plain, it's okay. Plain is all right. You know, plain can be improved on. I think that's the one I heard was, is don't worry, plain can be improved on. <laughs> I'm like, well, okay, what does that mean, you know? What are you trying to tell me? Um, I think, too, we think about things of words, have word associated to him, you know, I'm trying to get him in the picture, because he's making his funny little noises, but so far I haven't, I haven't succeeded in getting him in the picture, I think that's as close as we're going to get, he's black, there he's moving, he's now looking someplace else, alright, so words have this power, and you might not even know the other person that uses the, the words because there's a lot of guilt that gets can be a lot of emotion, not just guilt, but just emotion in itself that can be um, my messy bed that can have associated emotion to them. So example of that would be um, I don't like squishy foods, squishy foods in in jello. I don't like foods in my jello. I like solid jello. And it has to be hard solid jello. I don't like that weird squishy kind of semi soft jello. All right, so the word squishy brings to mind a whole bunch of stuff. Like I think of those little squishy balls, but when I think of those squishy balls, then I think about food that's squishy like that and my whole body just kind of goes, "What are you feeding me?" So squishy for me, even though there is a term of squishy that's not too bad, but if we're thinking about food, if I start thinking about squishy food, I'm like extremely grossed out. 
Whereas, um, I used to call my babies before they were born little squishy fishies. You know, I had squishy, well actually, one was a squishy fishy and then one was a squirmy wormy. Uh, until we knew what their sex was, so I could then start calling them by their names. Um, so, but squishy then wasn't such a big deal, but if then if you thought about squishy fishies to eat, that would be like really disgusting for me. I don't think I want to eat squishy fishies. But, uh, they also, words have meaning because, let's say, all your life you're told what a bad daughter you are. You're such a bad daughter. And maybe they didn't say the word bad, but maybe they just said, you know, I, I'm a little disappointed in you. You didn't, you didn't seem to really be working as hard as you, you should be. May, you know, you have a job in this house and it's to be this way, this way, this way. Okay, whatever it is. We're try, I'm trying to get all the way around, but my legs hurt, so. And there seems to be something under my chair, so it's getting wrapped up under my chair. So, let's just say that, that over a period of time, you're told that, you're told that, you told that. And then you start to think that maybe you are a bad person, a bad daughter. And there's these words that start to accumulate that are, that equal that, that thought feeling. So when somebody says to you, that you don't even know, you know, you're not a very good mother. <laughs> All of a sudden, you start to panic and think, maybe I'm not a very good mother because I wasn't a very good daughter, so I'm obviously not a very good mother. Or you're not a very good girlfriend. Okay, I wasn't a very good daughter, and now I'm not a very good girlfriend, and now I'm not a very good mother. And even though that person may not have any power over how you feel, you have power over how you feel, and you start to feel guilt or you start to doubt yourself, or you start to, you know, think that maybe they might possibly be right, even while you're telling yourself they're not. So, words have a whole lot of power, and you know, we could have done a whole topic on words, but I didn't really want to fit it right out. So, um, yeah, has been going through my mind. That and, and communication styles have been going through my mind lately, because people will say to me, you know, I really admire you. I think it's it's really great what you're doing to keep yourself sane. And then I'll say, well, would you like to help out in some way? No, but I really admire you. Or, well, another one I had was, um, and I and it was in. I've talked about it a couple times. Is uh, a guy online says to me, uh, I think he was really young too, so it was kind of funny that we were playing in a bunch of people playing, and he says, I, you know, I really admired the fact that. Um, you're an old lady and you're playing video games. You're old and you're a woman and you're playing video games. And I said, hey, cool. Well, we can always play again, you know, Fortnite or whatever. And he's like, oh, no, no, no. I don't play with old people. And and um, I think he said, don't take this the wrong way. Which always cracked me up because you're going to take it the wrong way. Uh, but I don't play with old people or women. He's a young guy. So I get it. I, you know, I don't understand it, but I, I get what he's trying to say to me. And I thought, well, that was kind of insultive, <laughs> you know, so I'm like, uh, okay. But it, that seems to be a recurrent thought in my in process. And that and people who act really nice to you, but when you try to uh, create a conversation or try to create some, uh, some type of connection beyond, you know, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. Nice weather we're having. Yep. And that's usually the extent of the conversation I have with a lot of people. Except for those rare individuals who seem to be looking for a therapist or someone to tell them the world was all right. Because I get a lot of that. I used to get a lot of that too. I don't so much. But, like, they'll say something to me. I had a lady the other day. I was getting something at the store. And she said, it's a really pretty dress about this dress that was on this magazine. Not to anyone in particular, right? So no one really said anything. And then I looked at it and I said, you know, it is a really pretty dress. And then she went into this whole long story about a dress. Not the dress that was in the picture, of course, but just dress. And I just listened because it's polite to listen to people. I mean, you can always say, I got to go or something like that. But I was, you know, like, oh, really? And, ah, that's interesting. And, oh... And I, re and I really try to take the time and the effort to listen to people because we all have stories we want to share. We all have things that are important to us. And maybe they're only important for that brief period of time. I apologize for my dog. I can tell you, you can hear him in the background. 
He's, he's not in danger. He's not asking to go out. He just wants to go to the park. And he's positively sure that we're lying to him about the park. Because I can't take him to the park without the car. So, and he's down there telling my, trying to get my son to take him out so he can check to see if the car's here. When my daughter comes home, oh my God, it's really bad. Because he goes to start doing jumps and flips and, you know, bouncing around and all kinds of stuff. Because he really, really, really wants to go out. And he knows she has the car. So, yeah, that's kind of, and then I haven't been feeling good, which is now a normal state of my life, I tell you this. I feel bad about talking about not feeling good, but then it's my vlog, so why should I feel bad about it? But I feel bad because it never improves. You know, it's so negative and it never improves. And some days it's really bad. Like, lately, it feels like whenever I move my arm, the pain is so bad. It feels like someone's breaking my arm and I can feel the pain all the way into my fingers. Um... Let's see, what else? Oh, goes through my mind. I was trying to get off that topic about words because that just seemed like an overly long. But it really, it really bugs me. It just bugs me when people say things to me that don't make sense. I hate non-making sense statements. Uh, like, um, like that one, you know, like the, the video game one. Or another one is, uh, one that was said to me is I, I picked up this shirt one time and was looking at it and person said oh yeah pinks that you know that that really looks good on you and 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 you know I really like this shirt and I should think about getting one and I said well why didn't, aren't you oh, I hate pink makes me it may, I think it makes redheads look blah 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 well I'm I'm kind of I'm an auburn you know auburn hair, redhead person right now it's dyed of course and I and I thought well okay you just told me it will look good on me but you and I are kind of carrying the same hair color, and now it doesn't look very good. You wonder about why people make statements like that. Or, I admire you. And I'd really like to, you know, I admire, I think that one's the one that gets me. I admire you. Yes. I'm glad you're here to hang out with me. Yes. I'm glad you're here. Ah. Oh. And then it just stops. It just doesn't go any further. And you try to encourage and, and communicate more, but it, it just doesn't. It just peters out into the... Blah land. So, I really need to stop playing Conan X Styles. Yes, yeah, shifting gears here. It wastes a lot of my time. I think Ark did that too. And I know No Man's Sky did it as well when I played it. But I find that Ark, uh, Conan and Ark to a degree in Fortnite, because you're playing with other people. When you play with other people, you kind of get addicted to doing it. But a lot of it's just that it takes so long to do things, and it's, you you have to you have to do like if I want to make a mask, I first have to make the underlining, and before I can make the underlining of the mask, I have to go out and gather everything, and it, it's 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 okay because it's kind of a realistic thing because that's how it would have been in the world: go out and gather the material you needed to make the yarn to do whatever it was you had to do. But it's still in a video game. You find yourself kind of all of a sudden an hour in, and you, all you've made is two hat, two uh, pieces of armor, and run around the base filling up boxes to be able to make more stuff. So um, Minecraft does that to me. I think Conan of all of them is the most like Minecraft because Minecraft, I would start playing it, and become so absorbed in what I was doing. Uh, not Ark so much because I died a lot more in Ark than I do in Conan. Um, once you get to a level that the creatures aren't eating you anymore. Um, and Ark I know is that way, but I've never been able to reach Ark where there wasn't something trying to eat me. But, um, well, maybe in, no, even in, in Savjaz's server, <laughs> there was things that would eat me. So, I don't know, so it's a lot like Minecraft that way. I just, I kind of, if I sit down and do Minecraft, if I actually just sat down and did the Minecraft, I'd spend the whole day doing Minecraft. Especially if I was doing roads. Because I'd, I'd get very into doing the roads a certain way. Alright, well, that's it for Rambling 101. Not really exciting. Not much going on. Um, as soon as I get back on my schedule, not doing late night uh, rambling videos. Uh, we'll be, I will be giving, posting you a new channel update as to what some of the plans are. I, I'm working on that OBS. So as soon as that OBS is, is done, we're going to have a whole new change of schedule again. All right, I got to go. My face itches. My arm hurts. It's, it hurts to itch my face. It hurts to itch my back or my brush my hair. Oh, God, so it's horrible. 
All right, I'll catch you all on the flip side, and I'm out of here. Peace.